Hey guys, uh, today in our uh, new video, we're going to be checking out one of the most awesome and most beautiful fast chargers in BC, I think. Unfortunately, we got here and there is a fire because we're in the mountains and in the summer it gets pretty dry and pretty hot. And um, what happens is there's a bunch of helicopters right now flying overhead trying to put out this fire, but we are here at this charger getting 43 kilowatt hours for now we'll see there's two that one didn't work i had to unplug and plug into this one so let's hope that continues we're very close to hope bc actually so let me just get out and show you guys how beautiful this charger is and the location i think it's one of the most amazing places ever honestly but uh, unfortunately the forests are burning so yeah not not good not good all right let's check out how it looks outside oh there's that fire i talked about it's burning and then the helicopters are flying over there to get water and then douse the fire but anyway this is us charging and uh what are we getting oh. Two kilowatt hours. So, like I said, in the inside, we're getting about 40. So there's a Chatamo and a CCS, and it's completely free. So I'm gonna put the link down in the description where you guys can find this charger if you're in this area of BC. But it's pretty amazing. Anyway, there's that fire burning. Like I said, you know, summertime in BC lots of fires and uh, it's always a struggle to keep them in check so there's a bunch of helicopters flying as you guys can probably hear there's one right there it's coming there we go they're trying to get some water somewhere and that was that fire i guess that's just smoke smoke from this fire here sorry if it's windy but it's really, really, really windy today as well. So there's that fire. It usually is a huge problem here during the summers. So how beautiful is this, eh? Beautiful. So there's toilets here, or picnic tables there, chargers here. So, you know, this is a perfect place. When you're on a road trip through Canada, chargers like this are amazing. Stop, have a bite to eat, charge your vehicle you know and uh, and enjoy the view so this place is called the hope slide so as you can see the whole mountain just slid down i think in 1965 so that's why here it's kind of barren and then there is no trees no nothing just rocks yeah we're still humming along though no changes let's have a look There we go, 60% already, nice. Oh, there's another helicopter back there. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it carrying water to douse the fire. It's over there, helicopters here. Yeah, but that's the Hope Slide. And this charger is called the Hope Slide Charger. Oh, there's a helicopter coming. There is a helicopter coming. Hope you guys will be able to see this. All right, we unplugged and we are off. That's, a, you know, I got, I think 20%, which is more than enough to get to Hope, which is very close. Um, let's get in. Helicopter still flying, trying to get rid of that fire. That's still over there. Pretty crazy. Okay. Ugh. Well, like I said, we're close to Hope, BC. So we're gonna go there and fast charge. Well, this is also a fast charger, but I figure, um, 
I'm gonna be there anyways, so might as well just charge over there. Go get some food and other things, and then wait while we're charging, because here is nothing except a beautiful view. But I think you guys have to agree, no better place to take a break, charge your car at 50 kilowatt hour on a CCS or a Chatamo, and picnic tables if you need them, and a fire to look at. <laughs> okay, we'll pick up again when we get to Hope. Um, I'm going to be probably charging at the Electrify Canada. I've never charged before, and I want to try it out before I do the review. So I'm going to do a hyperlapse going there, and we'll see each other again in Hope, British Columbia. Hey guys we made it to electrify canada there you go and we are charging it's pretty quick gotta say pretty quick and the location is nice too look at the mountains the view is nice and then this little charging station they got a how many one two three four four stalls and then it's a CSS connection up to 150. And there's an art gallery here. So if you guys are charging and you want to go see some beautiful art, I'm sure it's right next door. So today's super windy, super, super, super windy. But well, there we go. Let's jump in and see how fast we're charging. If it's the same struggle like with Petro Canada. No, no struggle. 73 kilowatt hours. So it's gonna take us 37 minutes to 80. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But don't consider this a review. I will do a dedicated review for Electrify Canada soon. So stay tuned to the channel. Okay, charging is done. We're ready to rock and roll. And I just noticed that there's one stall here. If you guys have uh, your leaf or older vehicle, you have your Chatamo connection, but that's only 50. So if you want a quick Chatamo, um, then I guess uh, Petro Canada EV chargers are your only challenge, uh, choice, but at least you have one here. Anyway, it was an awesome experience. Beautiful place to charge, but off home we go. Um, a review of Electrify Canada will come soon, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It's a pretty good charger. All right, guys, um, a little bit of a, maybe time lapse, or maybe some shots from the way home, but I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content. And of course, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, and I hope you guys drop by again next time. All right, thanks so much. See you guys next time, bye-bye.